you are watching Kit Cabinet and in this video you'll learn to make model camo with chalk powder. Okay, you want to make this really nice model camo and I'm going to show you how easy it really is. As you can see, this is the stage of the base color. All the markings have been masked with tape, so I won't uh, accidentally go over them with, uh, with the chalk powder. This technique will work best with darker colors. The model pattern will have to be darker than the base colors. Reverse, it doesn't work too well. So dark colors over a light base, that works best. Also, what you would want is to have this base color as matte as possible. If you take a gloss coat, the chalk powder won't hold at all. So you really want a matte coat for this. Okay, for this chalk powder technique, you need chalk powder. We take a chalk stick of the color that you want, in this case red brown, and a piece of sanding paper. You can see that I tried some other colors here already. And you simply start scraping some off right over this piece of paper here. Uh, this looks about okay. And I made this fold here so you can easily dump it into this little container and here's our chalk powder I did the same for the green so now we have our two colors red brown and camouflage green to put over this plane what you're going to need next are these makeup uh, applicators it's basically a piece of, uh, of rubber foam on a plastic stick. Uh, I'm also using a, a rubber glove because you don't want this powder sticking everywhere. Now what I'm going to do first is test this color a little on a test piece. This is actually where I also test my, uh, my uh, airbrush on so I can see what the effect will be like. And you can see that you can make these little spots with an applicator. Okay, I kind of like make like little blotchy spots with this. It works best if there's not too much powder on your applicator. Test your spots on a piece of paper first before applying it to the model itself. Okay, here we go. Now keep in mind that you have to leave some, uh, some room for the green as well. So don't cover the whole model just in, uh, in brown spots. I started with brown uh, on this one. Okay, something like this. really want to keep your movements very small you don't want to streak all over the place and occasionally blow the uh, excess powder away so you can see what you have made and double check and then add a new patch 
and maybe add a bit more to some other patches that you think like okay let's get a like an even pattern here I should get something like this with the with the first color the brown is virtually done and it becomes a bit difficult to uh, to hold the model properly because you don't really want to smudge all the uh, the blotches that you've done already so you need to take uh, care with that it's not that fragile but still you don't really want to mess up all the work that you've done at this stage and this is just the first color the green has to come as well what's also a thing if you mess up this uh, if you mess this up it's probably hell to remove everything because the, 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 the this just loose pigment it will get everywhere so yeah you do have to take care when using this te technique and what I'm doing now is I've got a brush that's like really short really small and very short hairs it's uh, basically an old brush that I cut to size and what I'm gonna do I'm going to soften a couple of these blotches that I made I mean the rubbing with the uh, the makeup applicator was kind of the rough work and now I'm just going to make the spots that I've made just a little bit softer with this uh, with this shortened brush okay and then it's time for the second color the uh, camouflage green verde mimetico and it's basically the same procedure and you sort of fill in the the spots that you've left in between so here goes ah this looks so Italian uh, looking good so as you can see the pattern is really coming alive with the green as well so I softened up the green the same way as I did with the brown and this is the end result the next step you're gonna need to do is this needs to be fixed because if you wipe over this you just smudge every yeah every blotch away again uh, you don't want that so you want to fix this with a, a, a layer of, um, of varnish uh, you have to take care not to drench the whole thing because then the pigment is going to run again so you need to like lightly dust it with uh, varnish this is of course a tutorial when you're not using an airbrush so yeah logically you would use something like a rattle can to uh, to seal this you can of course also do it by airbrush but yeah now I'm just only going to lightly dust the model with some uh, rattle can uh, varnish and be careful not to drench the whole uh, drench the whole surface or all the chalk will run so just do this like very carefully just a couple of directed blasts okay something like this and now it's on to finishing this plane okay and there's the finished model and of course this method works equally well with uh, Luftwaffe model camo um, uh, desert uh, uh, model camo schemes whichever so hope you enjoyed and uh, start modeling away <laughs>